granny. Two. <laughs> Peter's, Peter's written. The joke of covering his mouth and screaming for help. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't get it. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> My mocha's is gone. Two brothers. Last week, I uh, really cliff hung everybody. Uh, <laughs> now I'm not gonna go to Twin Ash Twins at all this cycle. Yeah, he's gonna do something totally different. He's he's gonna finally delve into the DLC. No, I'm actually just gonna go wander around Timberhearth and just look at things. A thing I wish I did more often. <laughs> Genuinely. Like, I really do uh, wish I spent more time just floating in space in this game. Because I love this game. It's really very good. And I also love all you watching. I also love men. And women. I love the communist regime. We should play- I should make you play Tom Kart at some point after I've beaten it. Yeah, it seems like a good game. It's hard as balls and consistently terrifying. Well, Every time I stop being scared, the game starts scaring me again. Why throw something scary at me? Welcome to Two Brothers, the the series where Brian just makes me play every game he already played. <laughs> I mean, there's things like Undertale, where I'm having to play something that's not on the channel. Right. I'm gonna sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Yeah, but really, it does give me an excuse to have something exist on the channel longer than one playthrough. Yeah. I also want to do things like One Life runs of games and stuff like that, but that's a thing I'm going to work toward. And part of what I play is, of course, driven by what all of you ask for all the time. Go join the Discord, vote, give suggestions. <laughs> Genuinely, though, I appreciate all of you who joined the Discord. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and be a fucking loser and plug more of my own stuff here. Uh, go check out my, uh, uh, my tracks series if you like very chill, buildy game things, because that's a series that is very much viewer suggestion driven. Same goes for my City Skylines series. Uh, it, like, I want to get suggestions from all of you on how to improve my city and things you want to see in the city. If people ask for it, I'll fucking put it in. If you ask me to make a giant road system that looks like a dick, I'll do it. That shadow. Look at that photograph. Look at my horse. No, my stop. Horse is amazing. Fuck you. Give it a lick. Mm. It tastes just like raisins. Hate that video because it never escapes your brain. Man, I got here too early. <laughs> it's okay. It means it means we get time to just chill. Are we going down? Oh yeah, but I, I think I meant to say a couple episodes ago, but I forgot to. So you know how the sand is super wrinkly on that planet? Yes. So I have a theory about that. Because you see, it's this level of bumpiness once it makes it to the folly encapsulating the planet. I wonder if they have a single bump map that they just crunch and grow. And that's why it's so bumpy, because it's the height map that is used when it's at full expansion being applied to a smaller sphere. Hmm. That's just a theory. Theory. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop. It's just a theory, a game theory. Thanks for watching me talk about that for the 10,000th time. I'm gonna go give the Pope Undertale. Speaking of Undertale. You really like that guy, huh? We have a playthrough of Undertale. I genuinely loved early MatPat videos, but like, I don't wanna say he sold out hard cause you know, fucking sell out. That's how you that's how you make a living. You should sell out. If you if I get the chance, I'm selling the fuck out. I'll sponsor Raid Shadow Legends. Fuck those guys. That game sucks. And I'll say that as much as I want up until they pay me money. Raid Shadow Hey. Beautiful. Interlopers came really close. Interloper uh, was just interloping. They mentioned that the interloper was one of the most obnoxious. You things have mentioned this a couple times. But um 
Yeah, I loved early Matt Pat stuff where he was actually putting together like interesting theories. And I would honestly, honestly say it's right around the time he started talking about FNAF that his channel began to slowly get worse as he began chasing that algorithm. And I just lost interest. That's why I fucking love... I'm gonna go ahead and plug another YouTube channel. Check out ShoddyCast. Uh, ShoddyCast has a crazy history. It started off, as far as I remember, its early stuff was like Fallout and Elder Scrolls lore videos that were of like the highest fucking quality. Ah, uh, but basically they expanded too quickly, too fast, and went bankrupt. And when they went bankrupt, they handed the entire channel over to one guy who wasn't even one of the founding members. And a lot of people blamed him for the channel dying and all of its popular stuff going away. And it's like, it's not his fucking fault. Um, what's his name? Austin. Uh, like, this guy Austin, like, it's not his fault he got handed a, an already sunk ship. I don't blame him. But he's now brought back ShoddyCast, not doing the old lore stuff because he doesn't have the resources they have hey, to do that. What? I was trying to shoot it at this point. Oh, yeah. But, um, he fucking, he does awesome video essay content. Something I want to do more of one day. I talked about, uh, one off-handling Bioshock series, but Peter has an interest in trying to experiment with editing at some point. Maybe. Yeah, he doesn't know. We don't know if he's going to. We'll see what actually happens when I get there. But uh, I'm trying to write a video essay about Bioshock Infinite because it's a game that I want so badly to like, but I fucking hate it. And I want to do a video essay talking about everything that I wish it had been. And uh, I might hand it to Peter to edit and we'll see if that ever comes out. Because that relies on both on me writing and recording a whole video essay and Peter fully editing it. Yep. So. It requires two people who can barely focus on finishing a task to focus on and finish a task. Yep, yep. Without chopping my own fingers off and eating them. I love the Bioshock series. It's probably one of my favorite fictional worlds. But, like, Bioshock Infinite makes me so angry and sad because it was almost one of the coolest fucking games ever made. And then so many little things Three went wrong. Of oxygen you go remain. get your ship. It was almost amazing, you know? Man, I parked right next to it. Would you look at that? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Wow. Wow. I parked looking at it. <laughs> That's wild. Some might even say it's OUTER WILD! <laughs> Ouch. Baked ziti. Baked ziti. Oh, hey, you, there, you know, scroll up there. We were, uh, you were just plugging a, uh, ooh, god. Honestly, I don't know if I can recommend it. I uh, know, I know, I was gonna say Nightmind. Nightmind. Oh, yeah, I can YouTuber. recommend Nightmind. Nightmind. He's an absolutely great YouTuber. He does really good stuff. If I want like, to fuck him. If you like terrifying ARG stuff, God, chill on that, my man. <laughs> He's in the middle of a YouTube video that is gonna go out there, and you're just saying you want to fuck Nick Nocturne over here, and dude's got a boyfriend. <laughs> People know this is a comedy thing. I say I want to fuck a lot of things. Most of How it's do I not know when true. it's ready, Brian? How do I know when it's ready? Uh, uh, uh. God? Is that you? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all that glittery ore, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is cool. There's the statues. Woo woo. Oh, this is a trip. This is weird to walk around. Eight minutes ago. Probe tracking module, giant steep memory set. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Oh man. So there's a mod, uh, how much time do I have? which just takes that data and puts it on your HUD at all times.
Huh. Look at this, how fast the ship's going around me. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> wow. All right. Yep. Oh. What? This one's broken off. Yeah, it fell out, it fell down. Oh boy. Another memory statue here. Today we finished the ex excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved. <clears throat> we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still can hardly believe Reme's hypothesis was true. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. They're such good people. Yep. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. You turn it down just a bit. Poke just sent the warp core for our, the final tower to us from the black hole forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Kasava is working with Evans to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Flots is sculpting the memory statues. Everything coming together. Mm-hmm. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. The cores would have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. <clears throat> the important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for me mediating your disagreements. <laughs> Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Evans advocates for more launch power. <clears throat> if anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Evans can. <laughs> but then, if anyone can go to, go to device into exploding, that too is likely Evans. Perhaps... Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna get us banned. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. For context, Twitch bans you farting directly into a mic, and I don't know if you picked up, but Peter just had a hard <laughs> yeah, fart. Yeah, I just, I just let out a nice, mean fart. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? <laughs> Flox and Dag finish, Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idia have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes pl as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion which will, in turn, supply the power the Astrid Project requires. And I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. We've near we're nearly ready to activate the Astrid Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Astwin project will send the order for orbital for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Astwin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Astrid project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. 
This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode in its natural timeline if you prefer, idea. But you'll need to find some way to halt your age, our aging process. <laughs> I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. Such a tragedy. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in this solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained here, and that knowledge killed them. Mm -hmm. They would have killed them whether they gained it or not. None, of the, most of them didn't even know. Yeah. All the different projects. And it can. can oh, it's just. It's so. It's so sad. Re literally walking on the shoulders of giants here, you know? Or not literally, but you know what I mean. So this is all stuff I've read before. Yeah, on the other sides. Ooh. Artificial gravity control. What? Jump. Uh, oh, wait, 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 Peter. I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't, don't activate that. You know how I told you? The point of no return, I'd warn you. Peter, this controls. No! Well, you can activate it safely. Okay. It'll just lead you, it'll just leave you open. Oh my god. The thing that, this is the thing that's sending you uh, back in time, Peter. What happens if you turn this off? Oh, I'm, that's to shut it off? No, it's not to shut it off, but you can shut it off by doing that. You can open. I can't get back on. <laughs> that opens up the sensor where you can pull out the main components of this device. All right, all right. Stop, stop just telling me stuff. I'd rather experience it that all. Oh, just tell me not to do it. Okay. You are starting to tell me far too much. Sorry. I'm, I'm like actually stuck. I can't get back on it. I'm, I'm like not even joking. I can't get back onto it at all. Um, it won't let me up hey, and onto it. Uh, see those little arches? Try and use those to get onto what it. What little arches? Uh, look, look right. See those arches? No, I can't. I can't get up, Brian. I'm stuck back here. Like you, like you can't move at all. I'm stuck against the wall. We've gotten stuck so many times in this Let's Play. I'm just trapped against the wall right now. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. I think it's because that was spinning you at such speed that the velocity was pushing you out. You know? Oh, oh okay. You're back. <laughs> so this is the point of no return. Opening, opening that and pulling out the thing inside it. But I still haven't been to the... Okay. It's just ripping this apart is the, is how you can get, like, the worst possible ending in this game. Oh, God. Yeah, because you just die. Uh, I will say, before the first patch, it would literally delete your save. Oh, wow. You are about to access the core while the Ashman Project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. You sh you should have just let me read it. Sorry, I, I, yeah, you I gotta, forgot there was text there. Yeah, 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 that yeah. You were yeah, turning you it chill a little bit. You were turning it on, and I didn't want you to do it without reading it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was sliding into place on its own. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Well, time to get the fuck out of here. Very cool stuff. So what's the third thing? Is it a is it a zonai? Or not zonai? Uh uh uh. 
No my. No my. Uh, no, they are. They are. It said it. Orbital probe cannon. You and your buddy on. Oh, drive to deep. the probe cannon itself. The probe that it launches. Yeah. Oh, they didn't even. They didn't even realize you could have a person. Like, no, they did. Okay. They did know that people could connect to it. It's just they didn't. So. It was, when it activated, it would just send the probe and no one else would be connected. And once the probe found the eye, it would turn on all the other statues when it came back in time to put them in the loop so they could turn the loop off before the sun was destroyed. Okay. That was the plan, you know? Because their plan was to immediately blow up the sun in one super fast go to send things backwards in time to before they blew up the sun, you know? Oh. What? How the fuck am I supposed to get to the vessel? What uh, a nightmare. Remember how what I've always told you? So, if you hit a dead end, sometimes you can find else answers elsewhere. I still haven't seen that skeleton. I love this game. Yeah, the game really does everything in its power to make you think they're the thing blowing up the sun. Yeah. And that you have to like stop them from blowing it up and then we finally get to the thing orbiting the sun. It's like, sun's just dying. Yeah, they're all dead. Nothing you can do. Hey, bud. And these guys are another good source of trying to get uh, a direction to go in, kind of. Yeah. Our little egghead. Hmm? Oh, it's you. I take uh, get your first launch run. Well then, welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. I have a question for you. Was there something you needed? I want something. Please do tell. Never mind. Nothing you'd like to discuss at the moment? That's no trouble. If you find something you wish to discuss, please come find me. I'll be here studying the stars for a while yet. You know... Dun, dun. What's one serious tragedy of this game? What? You don't have an instrument. I wish they just gave you an instrument to sit down and play. You're right. At any point, wherever you are... And you could sit down and jam with your homies. You're 100% right. Well, actually, you know, one person's instrument is not an instrument. It's the guy who whistles. So, you know, we have Peter. They definitely should have added some. Yeah, an in game instrument. You're 100% right. Huh. All right. I adore this game. So I still want to go see... That... 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 <laughs> Entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. I am so dumb. So dumb. So dumb. Okay. Okay. So I know what to do on, during my next cycle. Well, you say during your next cycle. You could probably do it this time. No way. Look oh, yeah, look at that sand. sand. Yeah, what, what makes you think I can get in there? You're right. I didn't realize how much sand had moved. Oh, 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 oh. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess that's what's happening. <laughs> Abandoned ship! That's not in the ship! You should have uh, used the escape pod, pod option. <laughs> you're right, I should have escape podded, you're right. right I, should, I should have faced away an ejected ship, or I should have faced it like at an angle to it, so I rode it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually upset that I didn't do that now. This game is so fucking good. It really, really is. But yeah, um, so I mentioned how the, you know, you could open that up and break that. The inside of that, and yeah. in the in the earliest versions of this game, 
that would delete your save. That, that's so fucked up. Uh, just like how if you fall and die on Giant's Deep before, I mean, uh, Timber Hearth before starting the loop, it deletes your save still. That's still, I think that's still a thing it does. But yeah, it would delete your save if you did that, and like, that that was it. But then they were, like, they eventually they patched it out. Mm hmm. Yeah, th those are the two, like, endings, you died endings you can get in the game. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, next time I'll be playing this game will be a new, fresh sit down. So I'll be confused and trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm yeah. sure. But then uh, hopefully I'll remember I'm going for the angler fish. Hope you've all been enjoying and love y'all very much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people that have been paying enough attention are going to be so confused. <laughs> it's not even a funny joke. I don't get it. No, no, it's really not. I don't know why I started doing it. I have no idea. It's one of my little stims, I guess. Big needy. <laughs>